Okay, hello everyone. I'm Lainey Crawford, Manager of Travel and Young Alumni at the Iowa State University Alumni Association. And I'm excited to welcome you to the virtual information, information session for the 2022 Classic Europe graduation trip. We're grateful that you've taken some time today to tune in and learn about this really exciting and fantastic travel opportunity through AESU and the Traveling Cyclones program. The ISU Alumni Association has been providing educational travel opportunities for Iowa State alumni and friends for nearly 50 years. So years ago, we offered a trip like this one for recent graduates, and we decided to bring it back in 2018. Many students don't have a chance to study abroad during their time at Iowa State, and we're looking for the perfect way to um, celebrate their achievements and their college graduation. So this trip is kind of a way to do all of that. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Christine. She is a program coordinator at AESU, and Christine joined AESU's team in June of 2017 and has been passionate about exploring since she spent a semester studying abroad in Florence, Italy. So thank you for taking the time to talk to, with us today, Christine. Yeah, of course. Thank you, and thank you all for joining us today. Um, as mentioned, my name is Christine, and I would like to welcome you to our webinar tonight. Um, we'll be taking you on a behind the scenes tour of Europe brought to you by your University Alumni Association and AESU Alumni World Travel. Um, AESU has developed and operated exceptional travel programs since 1977. Um, just a quick overview, our session today should take about 30 to 40 minutes, mostly depending on the number of questions you might have. Um, and we end, uh, sorry, we are recording this session. So if you want to go ahead and mute yourself and turn off your camera, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to take you through the itinerary, uh, point out some highlights and let you know what's included. And I'm going to be um, hosting a question and answer session at the end. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and use the chat feature to send me a message directly, either while I'm going through the itinerary or at the end. And then I will be answering all questions at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the trip we'll be discussing today is the Classic Europe Graduation Tour, which has two options that you can choose from. We offer an 11-day trip to four countries or the longer 16-day trip to five countries. You'll be visiting England, France, Italy, and Vatican City. And if you choose the longer option, you'll continue on the extension to Southern Italy and Greece. The Classic Europe trip begins in London. Upon arrival at the airport, you'll be met by your tour director and then transfer with the group to your hotel in the city if you purchase airfare with AESU. If you purchase air on your own, you'll be in charge of transferring to the hotel. It's easy and you can always call us prior to departure for options on how to arrange it. Once you get to the hotel, you have a free afternoon to relax after your flight. In the evening, we'll get together for a welcome orientation followed by a fun London pub crawl. This is a great time to get to know your tour director and fellow travelers. The following morning is our city tour, where you'll see places like Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and Piccadilly Circus. Afterward, you have the rest of the day at your leisure, and you'll have a day pass for the tube, which you can use to go see more of London. Throughout the duration of your trip, your tour director can always help you with any questions you may have. If you need ideas about things to do during your free time, just ask your tour director. That's what they're there for. Now, you probably noticed that I had a poll question launched at the beginning of the presentation. I'm going to go ahead and launch the second poll question now. Um, these are just a fun way to get you guys involved. And then we are going to actually be giving away some prizes at the end. We have a few Cyclone prize packs as well as a $100 travel voucher for an AESU tour in 2022. So make sure you are answering these and on the call at the end, we're going to be giving away those exciting prizes. All right, so this question is the London Eye is a revolving observation wheel in London on the south bank of the River Thames. Why was the London Eye constructed? To celebrate the year 2000, to celebrate the 1000th anniversary of London, or to honor the World Optrician Congress in London. I'm gonna give you guys one more minute to answer that. All 
All right, it looks like most everyone got this question right. It was to celebrate the year 2000. Okay, and so then on the morning of day four, you'll travel from downtown London to downtown Paris on the high-speed Eurostar train. The trip only takes about two hours and you'll travel through the channel below the English Channel at up to 186 miles per hour. Once you get to Paris, our local art historian will introduce you to all the exciting sites, such as the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, and the Hunchback's Notre Dame Cathedral. In the evening, you'll enjoy a French bistro dinner, followed by a cruise on the Seine River. All the monuments and fountains will be illuminated, which will make for some great photo ops. Your next day in Paris is free for you to do and see whatever most interests you. Join your tour director this morning for an optional visit to a French perfumery and museum where you'll learn about the art of perfume manufacturing from ancient times. Afterward, consider visiting the Palace of Versailles, well known as Louis XIV's residence. Your two-day Paris Museum Pass gives you access to the Hall of Mirrors and the King's Grand Chambers, as well as over 70 museums like the Louvre and other famous sites all around the city, and your Paris travel card will give you access to the public transportation throughout the city. This evening, consider joining us for a legendary Can Can Cabaret show at the world-famous Moulin Rouge at night. Your tour director will find out who wants to go beforehand and will purchase the tickets for you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and launch our third and final poll question. What was the occasion for which the Eiffel Tower was designed and built? For the Olympic Games in Paris in 1900, as a celebration of the 2000th birthday of the city of Paris, or to be a main attraction at the Paris World Fair in 1889. Okay, it looks like we have most of the results in. You guys are doing really well. The answer was to be a main attraction at the Paris World Fair in 1889. All right, on day six, you'll board a sleek high-speed train to the French Riviera. Discover this area's thriving art scene and buzzing nightlife after this evening's brasserie dinner. The next day is free for you to explore the French Riviera. Consider joining us for an optional excursion to beautiful Monte Carlo and Cannes. Please be aware that this option may not be available during the Cannes Film Festival or the Monte Carlo Grand Prix. The following morning, our journey takes us along the scenic Côte d'Azur's sun splash beaches, finally crossing the border into Italy and arriving in Pisa with its stunning Piazza dei Miracoli. Take time to admire the baptistery, the cathedral, and take selfies in front of the famous Leaning Tower. Then we'll travel along rolling hills of olive groves and vineyards and truly immerse ourselves in the magic of Tuscany. Renaissance culture is around every corner with hilltop towns unchanged from the Middle Ages. After checking into our hotel, we'll enjoy a Chianti wine and olive oil tasting, and then we'll savor regional dishes featuring produce and wines direct from the local farms at our Tuscan feast. The next day, we're off to Rome to explore Caesar's Roman Forum and Circus Maximus, where chariot races were held with our local historian. Then a trip across the Tiber River brings us to St. Peter's Basilica and Vatican City. Your next day in Rome is free to go see the breathtaking Sistine Chapel or use your Roma Pass discount card for a more in-depth exploration of the Colosseum where gladiators fought to the death. Have fun tonight at our Viva Italia pizza party in Trastevere, the perfect spot to get a glimpse of the old world while still enjoying the lifestyle of today's Romans. Now, for those of you ending the trip in Rome, this will be your farewell dinner. In the morning, unfortunately, you'll be heading home. But for the majority of travelers, you'll continue south to Greece. And for those of you continuing on to Greece, this morning you'll travel to famous Pompeii, the city buried in 20 feet of ash after a volcanic eruption in 79 AD. A local historian will lead you on a tour of the ruins where you explore the excavated wonders, including homes, markets, and temples that remain intact, 
and streets that still bear the marks of chariot wheels from 2,000 years ago. You'll continue your travels across Italy's boot to board our overnight ship to Greece. Pack an overnight bag for this because your main luggage will be stored in the ship's hold. Past travelers have called this part of the trip their favorite as you are entering the relaxing part of your journey. A lot of people like to just sit on the outside decks and watch the sun go down and meet other people. There are restaurants and bars to check out and always some type of entertainment on board. Then once the ship docks, the group will be picked up by our local motor coach, taking you across the peninsula from Patras to Galatas. Here, you'll catch a taxi boat for a short ride to the Greek island of Poros. You will have three days to relax by the water and do as much or as little as you'd like. You can just sunbathe and swim in the clear blue sea or consider optional activities like water skiing, wakeboarding, banana boating, parasailing, and tubing. And you'll enjoy free bike rentals for a day, which offer an opportunity to explore more of the island. Tasty Greek dinners are included every night and there will be a fun toga party on your last island night. After our relaxing days on the island, you'll board the Flying Dolphin Hydrofoil to Athens. Once there, you'll see the famous sites such as the 2,400-year-old Parthenon and the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Your free afternoon may find you wandering the paths of Plato and Socrates or bargaining at a lively market. As this is our last night together, everyone is invited to our farewell to Verna dinner in the Plaka district, the oldest neighborhood in Athens at the foot of the Acropolis. The next morning, you'll head to the airport and fly back home with many fond memories and plans to return to your favorite city. Okay, so that is the classic Europe trip in a nutshell. Now I'd like to go over everything that is included with the trip. You'll get nine nights in superior tourist class hotels including twin beds and a private bath, the Eurostar train from London to Paris, a high-speed train from Paris to Nice, daily continental breakfast, four three-course specialty dinners, guided tours in London, Paris, and Rome, all led by local historians, a two-day museum pass in Paris, a Paris travel card, a boat cruise down the Seine River, and a Roma pass that gives you full access to the public transport system and discounts for museums and theaters throughout Rome. In addition to all of that, you have a private tour director with you for the entire duration of the land package, all scheduled sightseeing, a private air conditioned bus, and all service charges and local taxes are included. If you opt to go on the extended itinerary, you'll also receive an additional five nights in superior tourist class hotels or better, an overnight ship to Greece, daily continental breakfast, and four three-course specialty dinners. You'll also receive admission into the Pompeii excavations and Acropolis in Athens, along with guided tours from local historians. Okay, so the trip cost is going to depend on which option you choose. The 11-day package is $3,380 per person in a shared room. And then if you opt for the longer 16-day tour, you'll add an additional $865 for a total of $4,245 per person. Now I can tell you from past trips that more than 75% of the group will continue on to Greece. And just remember, you cannot add the extension while you are on the tour. Now for the few things that are not included. Those would be any meals, beverages, admissions and transportation not mentioned in the inclusions, and any optional excursions that are offered to you during the trip. There are two optional excursions offered on this trip, the Can Can Cabaret Show in Paris and the excursion to Monte Carlo and Cannes. In addition to these excursions, you'll have the option to participate in water sports in Poros for those of you on the Greece extension. You can find details on the optional excursions on your tour's website, and then upon arrival in Europe, your tour director will take bookings and payment for the optional activities that you would like to sign up for. As for airfare, AESU can book your flights for you, and there are many advantages to booking your airfare with us. First and most important is going to be peace of mind that we know where you are on your flights at all times. If your flight is delayed or canceled, the airline will inform us, and then we can pass that information onto the tour director 
or if necessary, assist with rebooking. Another reason to book air with us is that you'll receive free transfers to and from the airport overseas if you're traveling on the regular tour dates. If you need to change your flights, you can call us and we can take care of that for you. Depending on the type of change, the airline may be charging fees. For more information on flights and any flight questions, you can call our flight department at 1-800-638-7640. As for spending money, make sure you take a small amount of cash with you. During your travels, ATMs and credit cards are going to be the best way to exchange money. Just make sure your credit card is on a major network and be sure to call your bank before leaving to let them know that you'll be using your cards outside of the country. If you don't, they could put a fraud alert on your card or they could cancel your card entirely. We suggest budgeting around $60 to $80 per day for personal spending, including food, drinks, laundry, some sightseeing, etc. Remember, spending money is not included in the overall price of the tour. As far as documents you'll need, everyone will need a valid passport to travel. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months past your return date. If you are not a U.S. citizen, you'll want to call your consulate to see if you are in need of a visa. U.S. citizens do not need a visa for this trip. As for shots, you'll want to consult your physician. Most people do not need any, and at the moment, none are required by the CDC. Your final tour documents will be emailed to you approximately three to four weeks prior to the tour's departure, and will also be available to download from your AESU account. For hints on packing and luggage, check out links on our website for suggestions. You're allowed to take one carry-on bag, such as a backpack, in addition to a purse and one check bag with a maximum weight of 50 pounds. Your final documents will include the updated rules from the TSA on carry-on bags. When it comes to taking electronics, we advise taking as few as possible and leaving your laptop or tablet at home. Just remember that anything you take with you can also be lost, stolen, or broken. If you do bring your smartphone, be sure to check on international rates, especially data roaming, with your carrier. We would advise turning data roaming off while traveling unless your carrier offers an affordable international package. Please be aware that all hotels may offer uh, may not offer free Wi-Fi. Some hotels offer free service in the public area, such as the hotel lobby. Some may offer complimentary service throughout. Some may offer service at a charge anywhere in the hotel, and some may not offer Wi-Fi at all, or it could be spotty. There are internet cafes and hotspots everywhere in Europe, and a lot of public areas offer free Wi-Fi. For example, the Tower of London has free Wi-Fi, and so does the Louvre. Please keep in mind that these places, including your hotels, can be very busy and the connection might not be very strong. London's Heathrow Airport also offers free Wi-Fi, so you can connect via our group messaging app with the tour director and fellow travelers upon arrival. All right, now I wanna share a few helpful hints before I answer any questions that you may have. Make sure you take a book or some games for the rides in between cities. You'll be covering over 2,300 miles of European soil by ships, ferries, trains, and by private motor coach. If you have a student ID, be sure to take it with you because extra discounts may be available at select sites, stores, and museums. Before you leave, try to plan out things you might wanna do during your free time. If there are certain museums or sites, purchase tickets online so you already have them when you get there, allowing you to skip some of the long lines. Be sure to make copies of all of your documents, including your passport, credit card, travel documents, hotel lists, etc. Last but not least, have fun. This is a once in a lifetime trip that you're gonna remember forever. All right, so that, in, that concludes the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started answering any questions that you have now. So again, you can go ahead and use the chat feature to send me a message directly and I am going to go ahead and start answering some of these. Um, so it looks like the first question we have is, can only students go on these tours or can we bring friends and family? Um, yeah, so the tour is designed for graduating seniors. You are more than welcome to bring a friend or a family member that might fit in with that age range, even if they did not attend 
um, Iowa State University. Okay, uh, what if I am traveling as a single traveler? How will I be roomed and how will I spend my free time? Um, if you are traveling as a single traveler, um, you can go ahead and book in a twin share room and then we will automatically room you with another single traveler of the same gender. Um, alternatively, if you are looking to travel with a roommate, you can simply list their name on the booking form and we'll go ahead and room you together. Um, but as far as single travelers, we tend to see that the group um, as a whole breaks up into smaller groups in different cities, just really depending on what it is that everyone wants to do that day. Um, we really don't see people uh, not having anyone to spend their free time with or not knowing what to do with their free time. Um, also, as I mentioned in the presentation, the tour director is going to be a really great resource to utilize. Um, they're always going to be able to help with suggestions for what to do during your free time. Um, if there's a certain thing that you're looking for, they can, they've done these tours many times, they'll definitely be able to help you out there. Okay, um, I have a couple questions coming through about airfare, um, how to book it and how expensive the flights are typically. So um, you don't have to go to any other websites. If you want to book your airfare with us, you can do it uh, right when you are creating your booking. So all you need to do is list the US city that you are looking to depart from, and then we'll go ahead and add a quote to your invoice and send that back to you. Um, as far as flight quotes, they do kind of vary depending on where you're trying to leave from, whether you're coming back from Rome or Athens, um, and it could differ if you had different travel dates than the regular tour dates. I do have a couple sample quotes here from Des Moines. So for example, coming back from Rome at this time, based on the current availability, the round trip flights would be approximately $1,044. Um, alternatively, if you were looking to come back from Athens, the round trip flights would be approximately $981. Um, so again, that is based on the current availability. Um, if you were looking to leave from a different city, I don't have sample quotes, but you could always reach out and we're happy to provide quotes for anywhere that you are looking to depart from. All right, let's see. Um, okay, I have some questions coming through about COVID-19. So ASU is monitoring the situation both through CDC and State Department updates, as well as with our contacts on the ground overseas. Um, we are providing status updates for all of our tours 75 days prior to departure. Um, so we're definitely hoping that by May of next year, everything will be looking pretty good and the tour will be able to travel as scheduled. Um, but if anything changes, we will absolutely be providing an update 75 days prior. And then if there is anything that you need to know as far as restrictions or any requirements, we'll of course be letting our book travelers know um, anything of importance so that you guys are not left in the dark. Um, let's see. As far as um, bringing clothing and opportunities to, to do laundry, um, there definitely will be opportunities to do laundry. We, um, this, it depends kind of on uh, which tour you're taking. The 16 day trip is certainly a longer tour and, you know, especially for packing restrictions and wanting to pack light. Um, we typically recommend bringing the staples, um, definitely layering options, and then um, there are some opportunities to do laundry. Again, your tour director is going to be a great resource for that. They've been to all of these hotels and they'll let you know which hotels might offer laundry services or where you can find an easy laundromat um, on the tour. Uh, it's also a really great idea if you wanted to bring some um, laundry detergent, especially the powder, and just keep it in a Ziploc bag. And that way, if you just had a stain or something that you could real quick do in the sink of your hotel room. Um, that's also a great way to kind of make your clothes last a little bit longer while you're traveling. Okay, it looks like we have a question about the optional excursions. So the tour director will be going over the optional excursions that are offered on this trip on day one of the tour. You'll be having a welcome orientation in London and they will be uh, letting you know um, at what point the bookings for the optional excursions will be due. Typically, it's about two days prior to the excursion itself, just to give them some time to make all the arrangements. 
and when payment will be due. Um, payment will be due in local currency. And as these optional excursions are happening on mainland Europe, that will be in the form of euros. So you'll be able to, um, for example, go to an ATM and then give the tour director the cash directly. Um, but again, they will be taking booking and payments while you're on the tour. So there's nothing that you have to um, arrange ahead of time. Um, okay, how many people travel on this tour typically? So we can take up to 40 travelers on these departures. So we'll typically see about 35 to 40 on any of these. When is the deadline to sign up? Um, okay, so the final payment date for this tour is going to be 90 days prior to the tour's departure. That would theoretically be the last day for you to book and pay in full for the tour. Um, it is sold on a first come first serve basis and we don't want you to miss your chance. So what I typically recommend is as soon as you know you'll be able to travel with us, go ahead and make your booking and pay that $500 deposit. That way your spot on the tour is secure. And then you have up until 90 days prior, which is going to be for this tour, I believe in mid-February, to go ahead and make the final payment. Um, you just don't want to you know, wait and then decide that you want to travel and then the tour is all filled up. Um, okay, what if I'm not sure at the time of booking if I want to book the Greece extension? Um, that's not a problem. So you can add or remove the Greece extension up until 60 days prior to the tour's departure. Once we reach that 60 day uh, prior deadline, we just can't guarantee that there will be space on the extension. So if you're not sure at the time of booking, you can always add it and then remove it at a later date. Same thing if you um, want to book just through to Rome and then go ahead and add it. Um, if you are looking to add it, just make sure you do it before 60 days prior so that we can guarantee that you will um, be able to join. Okay, we have a question about the group messaging app. Um, so about a month prior to the tour's departure, we will be hosting and inviting you to join a group messaging app that will be um, exclusive to this departure. So it'll be a great way for you to meet the other travelers who are going to be on the tour with you, as well as the tour director will be joining the group about a week or two before the tour. Um, so this is a great opportunity to compare flights, you can share packing tips, maybe plan out some things that you wanna do in your free time while you're on the trip and really just get to know the other travelers on the tour and start to get excited about it. Okay, um, it looks like I have a couple questions about how many people you can bring on the tour. Um, so there's really not a limit um, if you wanna bring people who weren't Iowa State alumni. Um, we really just try to keep them within the graduating seniors age range. So that should be fine. Um, some questions about next steps. So if you are ready to book the trip, you can go ahead and visit the tours website and right in the middle of the page, there is a check availability button that will bring you to the booking form. Um, so you would go ahead and create an account with AESU, put in all of your traveler's information. As I mentioned, you can request a flight quote right there simply by listing the US city that you'd like to depart from. And then your $500 deposit will secure your spot on the trip as well as the requested uh, quote for the airfare. So we will go ahead and process that manually once it comes through to us, and then we will send you an updated invoice that you can review and let us know um, if anything looks out of place. Um, as far as any uh, vaccine or quarantine requirements, at this time, AESU is requiring all travelers to be fully vaccinated. Um, as far as quarantine requirements, I, you know, things are changing pretty um, consistently. So we don't know what the requirements are going to look like um, in May of 2022. Um, but as I mentioned, we will be providing updates for any of our book travelers to make sure that you guys are adequately prepared. Um, okay. What if I miss a um, scheduled event? Can I deviate from the schedule? 
Yeah, so if, you know, we try to plan the trip to have a great mix of scheduled activities to really give you guys a taste of the culture, as well as free time so that you can go on and do the things that are really important to you. Um, if there are any scheduled activities that you either are not interested in or say you overslept and you missed it, it's okay. Um, you really just need to let the tour director know on the day of uh, where you are so that the, you're accounted for. Um, as long as they know that you are not missing, then it's totally fine if you wanted to skip a scheduled event. Um, okay, should we bring euros from home or convert our money when we get there? Um, that is up to you. So keep in mind, when you first arrive in London, you're going to be needing Great British Pounds. So what I would recommend personally is just going to the ATM upon arrival and getting out some cash, but not too much, as you're only going to be in London for a couple of days and you don't want to have all these leftover Great British Pounds and then have to convert them to euros. Uh, because I believe it's not a very great conversion rate. Um, so we'll typically recommend uh, visiting the ATM every few days so that way you don't have too much cash on you at any time, um, but you also are keeping your bank fees relatively low. Um, so you can also call your bank prior to leaving, um, again, just to make sure that they know that you'll be using your card outside of the country because you really want to avoid any um, suspicious activity, fraudulent charges, or them canceling your card. Uh, but then also they can let you know if there is a sister bank that would have a relatively low ATM fee so that you can keep that down. Okay, um, as far as curfews on free days or nights, there will not be a curfew. Uh, there are some early mornings. So your tour director will be letting you know um, the schedule for the next day. And, um, you know, you'll wanna make sure that you're not out too late if you have an early morning. Um, the whole group is going to be very mad at you if they're sitting on the bus ready to go and waiting for you oversleeping in your hotel room. Um, okay, I think I answered most of these. If I missed anything, please just send me a message and let me know. I'm going to get, um, I'm going to give it one more minute just to see if anything else comes through. Um, this is a recorded session again, so I'm going to be uh, sending this over to Lainey and she will be distributing it to anyone who would like to have it. Um, we also have a pre-recorded version on our website. Um, and then if I missed any of your questions or if you think of anything else afterwards, uh, please feel free to email us or you can call us. Um, the best email address is our reservations inbox, which is res at aesu.com. And then the telephone number to reach us again is 1-800-638-7640. Um, so real quick, before I hand it back to Lainey to go over the prize winners, I just want to let you guys know that we are currently offering an early bird discount. So if you are ready to book and pay in full for the land package by December 6th, you can receive $200 off of the 16-day trip ending in Athens or $100 off of the 11-day tour ending in Rome. Um, so we do have the deals page listed on your tour's website. And we have the promo codes there. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste that into your booking when you are ready to book. And again, that is um, for payment in full for the land package by December 6th. So if you're not ready to pay for the airfare, that will still be due 90 days prior. It's just the land package that will be due um, by December 6th. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up on the questions there. I wanna thank everyone again for coming out to the presentation tonight. And I am going to hand it back over to Lainey to wrap up and again, go over those three prize winners. Thank you so much, Christine. Um, we had a lot of great questions for that. So I hope, um, like she said, you got those answered and you can always reach out after for any additional questions. So we have a couple of Cyclone prize packs to give away. And those include uh, two koozies, a coaster, notepad and pen, a luggage tag, and a rain poncho. So the first winner of that is Hannah Iverson-Jones. Did she start on? I believe so, yep. And then the second Cyclone Price Pack is Ryan Burgett. And then the exciting $100 voucher from AESU, you can use this to 
apply to a 2022 script um, used by the end of next year is Kayla Walter. So congratulations to you three. Um, AESU will be in touch to Kayla for that voucher, and I will be in touch with Brian and Hannah um, about a good address to mail your Cyclone prize pack. And um, thank you all so much for taking the time today. If, um, if you have any questions at the moment, feel free to reach out. But otherwise, we really appreciate you taking the time and hope you have a wonderful evening.